Hey guys, I'm Sasha from NetworkNews.com and look what we just got from the Acer headquarters here in Taipei. That's a brand new Acer Aspire 1756 netbook, 11.6 inch display with an Intel Pentium 987 or the Intel Celeron 877. We are about to do an unboxing of this device right now, which is already shipping in the US for 330 up to 400 US dollars. So watch out. So here it is, the Acer Aspire 1 756. I'm not sure, is it still a netbook? Because it's 11.6 inch and I somehow kind of had this limitation for netbooks like with this one, which is a 10.1 inch uh, Acer Aspire 1. Or is this already an ultra thin or whatever? Let's say it is a cheap laptop notebook uh, at 11.6 inch. It might be the evolution of a netbook. So the fine folks of Acer um, sent us this one over to the office and we are about to unbox it right now and actually it's already available in the US and in Europe and it starts in the US at 330 US dollars. In Europe I think at about 330 euros without an operating system but finally let's see you know what let's just start it here so you know what we are talking about. Well, I have to admit, I've been already unboxing it before and playing around with it. By the way, this is something that I really love about netbooks or ultra thins or whatnot uh, from Acer and Asus. They're constantly getting sleeves in there. You know what, manufacturers, these sleeves are, well, you can build them for like two or three cents somewhere in mainland China. So why not making sure that when you're also shipping your tablets, get a nice little sleeve in there. Um, so here's the device itself and uh, here we have the little cloth because it is somehow a fingerprint magnet. Uh, here we have the PSU and here is an additional little USB mouse. Let's take a look at this one. Oh look how cute! And um, that's about it. So I'm not sure if this is a special version. Um, that comes with the mouse, but I think that each and every Acer Aspire one comes with this little Acer mouse right now. Okay, let's just throw this away, and here it is. We got the black version. There will also be a blue version and a red version, and I think even a white one. And uh, let's take a quick look around it. So we have a connector for your Ethernet cable, a VGA out, HDMI out, a USB 2.0 here. This is a two-in-one card reader. And we have two more USBs. And I think these are also, no, these are USB 3.0s. A jack for your headset and a connector for your PSU and the Kensington keylock. On the back, we'll see a four cell lithium ion battery this should be good for about four to five hours of battery life. And our version came with Windows uh, 7 Home Premium. And you know what's kind of interesting is uh, you need to have a little pencil to kind of unattach, unattach the, uh, detach the battery. Um, okay, that's about it. The lid is uh, like the traditional Acer Aspire ones. You can see, well, the font changed a little bit, right? But still, it is a glossy fingerprint magnet. And that's why they have the cloth in the box. So let's open it. And you know what? The first impression isn't only that this comes with a glossy display, as you can tell. Oh, by the way, that's quite decent. This is something that is very rare in these days. Um, this angle, how far you can bend the hinge back. That's pretty cool. Um, but the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this device was, oh my God, this keyboard looks absolutely fantastic. And you know what? The build quality is very solid. You know, it's kind of hard to make it bend. The physical feedback that you're getting from this keyboard is great. It has nothing to do with anything that comes to my mind that starts at 330 US dollars. This is a fantastic keyboard. Um, great right and left shift keys. A pretty small enter key here, and this is a little bit confusing here, and, you know, and kind of looks like that I could also kind of hit the bottom above uh, the uh, the button above the enter key. Small little cursor keys, but I mean you're not using them a lot. 
besides that, this layout looks absolutely fantastic. Huge trackpad with integrated mouse buttons. I will never be a fan of integrated mouse buttons, I have to say that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. The screen, glossy, as you can see, here's the camera. That's me, or my cap. And uh, 1366 by 768 is the resolution. This is, I guess, uh, this kind of compromise uh, they wanted to go for. You know, I tell you one thing. In Asia, people love glossy displays and also the manufacturers love glossy displays because uh, it makes their product shine on the shelves of the computer stores. Uh, I am not a fan of glossy displays, not at all. Well, maybe in a dark room, but that's about it, right? Um, let's talk a little bit about the technical specification of this device. We've got a version with the new Intel Celeron 877. Now, what's an Intel Celeron 877? Is basically based on uh, the Sandy Bridge architecture. So this is the second generation of the Core i's. That means it also comes with the Intel HD 3000 graphic cards, which offers you enough performance to really run pretty much all the casual games. Plus, it also offers you perf enough performance to do very, very decent video rendering on this because um, it will offer you a hardware acceleration. So uh, programs like um, CyberDirector PowerLink, oh sorry, so sorry, uh, PowerDirector from CyberLink, <laughs> that's the one, that's also a Taiwanese company by the way. They will offer you the Intel HD hardware acceleration and that means um, you can do fantastic 1080p HD video rendering with this little machine and I'm definitely gonna give it a try. So this one comes with the Intel Atom, uh, sorry, Kind of, it's, it's a successor of the Intel Atom. I'm not sure if this is actually <laughs> killing the Intel Atom right now. Um, the Intel Celeron 877, it's a dual core one, no hyper threading, dual core, 1.4 gigahertz, 32 nanometer manufacturing process, and it should end up at like 15 to 17 watt TDP. That's a lot in my opinion, but still, you're getting a lot of performance out of this. This beast, well, it's not really a beast, but this little fella drives circles around a traditional Intel Atom N2600 um, or N2800 netbook. It comes with two gigabytes of RAM. This platform supports up to, theoretically, up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. But I think for this one, in terms, because of the limitation of the slots, you can uh, upgrade it to eight gigabytes of RAM. There will also be a version with four gigabytes of RAM that comes with the Intel Pentium 987. That's a dual core 1.5 gigahertz, offers you a little bit more bang uh, for the buck. And I think the differences are about 50, 60 US dollars. So if you don't want to go settle on, if you need a little bit more performance, you know, you should definitely consider um, the Pentium version. Uh, we have the version with 500 gigabyte hard disk, there will also be a 320 gigabyte one. In Europe, they're even selling this device without any operating system or with Windows 7 Home Premium. I think in the US, they will go for Windows 7 Starter and um, Windows 7 Home Premium. Oh, by the way, of course, this is DDR4 RAM. The weight of the system is uh, 1.38 kilograms. That's about five, uh, sorry, three pounds. And that means it is really light. Let me just give you a little comparison about here, the size of it. You can also see it's, it's, it's very thin. Well, let's compare this to the, this is an Intel Atom N550 netbook from last year, an Acer S101. So the 756 looks very thin and stylish, I would say. Um, this was one of my favorites. Um, that's an uh, HP Mini. 311C came with an Intel Atom N270 uh, and the NVIDIA Ion graphics card. They're not building irons anymore. Didn't you notice this? Um, but anyways, it was a nice 11.6 inch model. I've been actually using it to block for about six months. And here you can see the difference now. That was a big boy compared to this new Acer. And last but not least, we have an uh, EPC 1215 from ASUS, 12.5-inch, uh, no, sorry, 12.1-inch device. That's the one also glossy display. And now let's compare this one. And once again, 
you see how thin this new Acer is and it's lighter and I tell you what, for this amount of money, like let's say between 330 and 400 US dollars, you're getting an absolutely amazing system here. But you know what, how about showing you a little boot up sequence of it. Okay, just zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Of course, ours came with the Chinese Windows 7 Home Premium. I promise you that the US version will have an English, <laughs> English one and uh, the European version will have, well, English, German, French, Italian, whatnot. Here we go. So the Buddha process was pretty quick, you know. I wasn't really taking a look at the, the clock right now to see how fast it booted up. But I would love to show you a couple of things. Not only this, oh gosh, I hate this bloatware. Not only the McAfee bloatware, but also, um, let me see. Here we go. I want to show you a little bit about the performance. Of course, we are still going to do intense benchmarking with this device. Oh, by the way, it's 64-bit, of course. But look at this. So this Windows Performance Index is 4.4. Now show me any Intel Atom netbook that can do this. So that's a very, very decent result. And I'm sure that the benchmarks that we're going to run on this fella will just uh, kind of confirm that this new Intel Celeron 877 or the Pentium 987 might be the successor of the Intel Atom on the netbook form factor. So this was the first impression of the new Acer Aspire 1 756. I'm Sasha for netbooknews.com. Thanks for watching.